seen these and got here early and tried to track these horses down uh, but today these tracks are fresh it's rained the scuffs are still dry real dry and the spots hitting in the mud are super fresh uh, there's a coat maybe two coats because that hoof's smaller than the other hoof. There's some, definitely some big horses in with them. I'm guessing three at least, two coats, maybe a mare. Uh, two coats, a mare, a couple mares, maybe, or a stud and a couple mares, young mares, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna try to get to them today, see if I can find them. He's beautiful, solid black, no spot of white on him. But uh, I don't, I don't think anybody's ever messed with him. Probably since they've been turned out, these younger horses may have never had human contact at all. been in this area for a while and I've tracked footprints hoof prints for a long time and I've not been able to find them today was the first day I was able to get up on them and uh, they're in really good shape so this area has tons of sufficient food but more importantly you know you see these horses starving uh, a lot of times when they're turned out wild in, in these eastern states on these old reclaimed mines and stuff, they look really skinny and a lot of that is actually because of lack of water causes them to look what my dad and family always called ganked. Really thin in their back, right around their flanks, in front of their back legs. They're getting food, they're just not getting water a lot of times in that situation. I wish I could get closer. I just, I don't think they've ever had any contact. They're absolutely beautiful. The stud, the guy I think is the, still a stud. I'm assuming he is, because that looks like a little stud coat over there as well. Uh, but the, what would be basically the dominant male. He, he's not letting me out of his sight. And if that's, you know, three mares there that he can breed with, and he's already got two coats out here, and one of them may actually be, they may, all be his coats it may have just been him and maybe one of the mares to begin with you you never know it looks like that's a distinct possibility but they're beautiful beautiful animals i love horses we have a lot of horses but you know i don't know how long these things have been out here they literally could be equivalent to uh 
wild horses, you know, just because they're not Mustangs and we're not out west without human contact, they, they're not domesticated. They are wild. They're just surviving in a way maybe unfamiliar to the way Mustangs survive. But you get that a lot. A lot of horses have been abandoned on strip jobs and, and that's what this is. This is the backside of a strip and absolutely beautiful horses. I was told one of them had a halter on it and that it was too small and it just started to grow in and that's why I was trying to find them. But there's no halters on any of these and I don't think these things have ever seen people. Well, maybe seen people, but very little human contact, if any. He, he very well, as big and pretty as he is, and, and kind of his demeanor, he may have had human contact before. Um, and, and maybe one of the others, but there's a good chance that at least two of those for sure have been born out in the wild, maybe others.